Hello everyone and welcome to my official tutorial on how to use CheckRain for Linux. So officially I broke the news earlier this morning that the CheckRain team officially released the tool for Linux. Now if you want to run Linux on your Windows PC using virtualization in the card right now and in the description below I will have a link for my Rainstorm tutorial. Very easy to follow, very easy to understand. So, once you're done watching that and you have Linux installed, go on to the Check Rain website. Link for that will also be in the description below. Go to See All Downloads. Now, the first thing you want to do is open your terminal emulator. Type in the following command, LSCPU. So, once you do that, look for Architecture. Mine's x86-64. I've already downloaded the file, so I don't have to get into that right now. So, what you're going to do is the following. So, open up Terminal Emulator. So, once we do that, we're going to follow the instructions on the CheckRain website. Very easy to follow. So, we will look for that right now. There is supposed to be a tutorial. If I don't see it here, I do apologize. Here it is. Here's the tutorial. So, first things first, copy and paste this. I'm going to copy. We're going to hit paste. Okay, that's very odd. I don't see anything that's uh, working here at the moment. Oh, that's why we didn't copy the full thing. Little hiccup. It happens. Turn the emulator again. Once again, end of the first one. Do that right now. Okay. Next up, add the public key. This is their public key. Archive. Put that in. Hit paste. So now it's going to go to the next step. And then we'll have our uh, next command after this. So this shouldn't take that long sudo apt update this shouldn't take that long it's a very simple process okay now that we're done with that make sure your downloaded file that you download is on your desktop so make sure that the check grain you download from Make sure it's on your desktop because now this is going to be the really tricky part. So now what we're going to do is I have to get my camera ready because there will be a picture in picture on your screen in a little while. CD desktop, C-H-M-O-D. I'm just making sure that this is correct, of course. I'm going to hit plus X, check rain. Finally, enter dot slash check rain. Make sure this is correct here. Now, hit exit. Non root execution detected. Won't be able to work unless you're running an administrator. So now, type in the following command sudo dot slash, right? sudo dot slash. Check rain. Okay. Enter your passcode. And there we go. We are all set. We are all set. So now we have to connect our phone. So our phone should easily be connected at the moment. So I'll connect my phone again. This should 100% work. There we go. iPhone 8 Global. So I want to make sure I do this correct the first time. Okay. So now we're going to hit start. So I'll make sure you hit start. Make sure I have the camera in the left hand because I'm a righty, so this definitely helps me. So I'm not going to hit record yet on that. Put the device into DFU mode. Hit next. Entering recovery mode. So I will have the PIP in just a second. So stand by. Shouldn't take that long. 
So now there will be an instruction. So now what I have to do is I'm going to have to multi-tax the best I can. Okay, there we go. So that way I can show you what I'm doing. So as you can see here, I'll show you this and I'll show you this as it's going along. I'll put the phone down so that way I'm not going crazy. So make sure when it says four, don't immediately hit side, volume down, and the side button. Because it's not a good accurate timer from what iCracker iDevice had mentioned in his tutorials in the past using Mac. Now we're going to hit start. Three, two, one. Okay. Make sure I'm doing it correctly. Do apologize if I flinch there because the camera's not going to be in focus. There we go. Okay. Checking if device is ready. So now this is going to be the real test right now. Because enter download mode. So that's a good sign. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. It is working. It is working. You should be seeing the PIP on your screen right now. It is in download mode. So let's see. Let's see. Do we have Cydia? So now the phone's going to be booting up. So let's make sure this is working. So what I'm going to do right now is put my passcode in. All right, here we go. Let's see if Cydia is fully working. Let's make sure. Let's make sure. So Cydia should be coming up on my screen any second right now. Looks like it should be coming up. And yes, here we are. <laughs> my jailbreak from Rain USB. Fully working. Fully working. Now again, this should work on 13.3.1 because it has the latest support. So yeah, look at that. 13.3.1. One. So there you have it. That's how you can jailbreak your iDevice with Linux. This is a fully method, full method that works 100% because I'm sorry. I'm just so excited. I'm shaking the camera because I can't believe this is actually working. Full 100% way to jailbreak your phone right now. You can even jailbreak the latest 13.3.1. So with that, thank you all for watching. Until the next one, please take care.